Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here from Physique Development. I'm here with Coach Cody from the Tailored Coaching Method. And today we're gonna take you through a video to start to perfect your squat form and how your squat's going to not only look, but also how it's going to feel. So first off here, we're gonna actually bring Cody up just slightly in front of the wedges in the squat rack and go through an active range of motion test. So what I'm gonna have Cody do is basically bring one of his legs up right in front of him. And so what we're doing here is finding our width. So how wide do we need to be within our squat, within our squat stance? So here, basically his femur is running right into his pelvis. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of carry things out and get him into a position and work around his pelvis to where he can get good, a good amount of hip flexion. And so basically that's gonna be his width. Um, so what we're gonna do is have him just kind of set that leg down in that width. And then your best case scenario is matching that up on the other side. And so now that we have Cody's width, in terms of where to place your feet in terms of angle, basically all we want to happen is for that knee to track in between those first two toes, so like the big toe and then the second toe. That's really all that we're looking for is in terms of tracking. Uh, in terms of depth, we'll go ahead and go over that. So if Cody turns to the side here, in terms of depth without the wedges, because we're going to show you a squat without the wedges, and then we're going to show you a squat with the wedges, just to show you how different that can be, even with the slight change in degree of wedge. So we're going to have Cody go down here. So we're going to find where his end range is. And so basically we're finding that end range. So if he comes up a little bit for me, you can see right here, is where he needs to stop. Because if he starts to go down, that's where you see the tucking of that pelvis, and that's where you see that butt wink. Because if he comes up from this position, that's where that butt wink comes into play. So if we're talking about getting rid of our butt wink, it all starts with how low are we going to begin with. So best case to get rid of your butt wink and come up is to maintain or kind of restrict your depth to begin with. Because not everyone needs to go ass to grass. What you need to do is train within the active range of motion that you have uh, on any given day. Now that we have his squat width and his depth in mind, we can take him into the squat rack. So what I'm gonna have him do is pick up the load and basically just go through a squat without the wedges first. And we're just gonna see, and I'm gonna show you that this squat looks good, but it may not feel the absolute best that it can, okay? So two, problem, two problems that Cody has had in the past was pain at the low back and not recruiting as much or emphasizing as much quad as he's wanting to. So if we look at where this bar path comes down, this is quite, this is a very hip dominant squat. So you're looking barely, basically what's the distance between the bar and his hip in relation to his knee joint. And there's a, it's a greater, much greater distance from the bar to his hip than it is to that knee joint. So it's a very hip dominant squat. So basically I'm gonna have him come back onto the wedges if he can, if he has that endurance, I think he's all right. So now basically what we're gonna do, these wedges help pitch the foot up and help basically drive that knee forward sooner. So as we go down, we're still breaking at the knee and the hip, that knee's driving forward. He's able to gain greater depth here because that knee is able to drive further forward. So we're at a good amount of hip flexion, so there's no gap here. We're at a good amount of knee flexion, you can come up. We're in a good depth there. So with the wedges, he's able to get more quad involved because that knee is driving further forward safely with also gaining depth at the hips. So a few things to keep in mind while you're squatting and setting up and getting in a good position to squat is going to be what's happening at the neck or with the spine and then what's happening with the core. And so what we're looking for here with Cody is for him to create a neutral spine. And a common mistake here is to go into over flexion or over flexing at the neck and basically creating this, yeah, over flexion. And that's not what we're looking for as much as we're just looking for can we, a good cue is, can we hold a tennis ball, for example, here at the neck? And what that's gonna do, again, is it just stabilizes things a bit, puts you in a neutral head position so you don't look up. Because the problem with looking up is if Cody looks just straight up, like you're commonly taught, what, what's gonna start to happen is that becomes a kink in the chain. 
It may not be the end of the world, but it also could lead you down the road of injury because as he looks up, his abs commonly are going to go and then he's going to tilt at the pelvis here. And then as he squats down, it's gonna put a lot of load on that low back and just overall throw off your balance in general. How to fix that? First, it starts with creating a neutral spine. So tucking that chin. Again, just goal is neutral spine, contracting those abs. Think about compress the abs, not so much flexing at, flexing with the abs or with those rectus abdominis. So we're thinking about just kind of that, creating that weight belt with the TVA and creating that cinching effect or that compression with the abs, stabilizing the cords and really putting that spine in a good position. So once we have that, we're able to just go through our squat. Good. So in combination with what we started the video with, going over your squat width and where your feet should lie, those are some things you should keep in mind while you're squatting. Now to end the video, we're basically gonna go through a checklist of start to finish what you're looking for out of the squat. Start off with number one here. What we're gonna have Cody do is again, come up, bring that leg up and basically we're gonna try and find that degree that we need for the greatest amount of hip flexion. So we may actually need to go in slightly. Good, so to, out further is not better. So finding the point you need and that's what we're looking for. So as he puts that foot down, in terms of where to put this foot or how pointed out it should be, is essentially as you're going to squat, your knee's going to track in that direction. So we basically want that knee to track in between that big toe and that second toe. So that's a good landmark to have there. So next, the big thing that we went over was creating a neutral spine, a neutral gaze with your eyes and compressing at the abs to help protect that spine while you squat.